Hi there, Miss Wendy with the Fairfield Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how I turned a few simple things into this. In your bag you picked up from the Fairfield Public Library or the Woods Branch Library, you will find a paper cup, two paper plates, a cotton ball, a black pom-pom, a roll of glue dots, and a flameless tea light candle. You'll also need some additional items. A glue stick, pencil, scissors, and a black marker, and maybe other colors too. As always, you can make this project your own, but I'll show you how I made mine. Let's get started. And it's always a good idea to have something to protect your workspace. All right, so let's bring our paper plate back. And we are going to use our paper plate, if you see in uh, this example here, we're going to use our paper plate for our polar bear's face, snout, ears, hands, feet, and also tail. So the first thing that we're going to do is cut out the circle in this plate. Can you see the circle? We are going to cut that out. So just make one cut in and then right on the inside of the circle we are going to cut all around that plate. So cut in and then around. Right along the line that makes the circle. Nice, all right, so that is your polar bear's face. And this is gonna be all the other parts. So let's count out here. This is gonna be our hand, one, two, three, four. And we're going to cut that there. And then again, we're going to count one, two, three, four, and I'm counting the indentations. And then we're just going to make a cut. And again, one, two, three, four, another cut. And one, two, three, four, so right at that line, another cut. And those are your hands and feet. We're going to make our ears about the same size. One, two, three, four, and cut on that line. And one, two, three, four, and cut. Those are our ears. We need a tail. I'm going to do one, two, three for the tail. One, two, three for the tail. I'm going to cut now. So our tail's a little bit smaller. And then our nose, a circle, a little bit of an oval. And I'm going to make the nose just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to cut right there. Because I'm going to make the nose a little bit more of an oval shape. And you can draw it out if you'd like, or you can just cut. If you want to draw, use your pencil and draw. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So making this into a little bit of an oval shape like that. All right. So there is what is going to be our nose. And we're going to put that there and uh, our, our snout. And we're going to put that there. And we're going to put that on the bottom half or divide this circle into two. This is the top half, the bottom half. We're going to put the snout on the bottom half and we're going to use some glue stick to do that. And we're going to put the glue on the underside there. And put a lot of glue on your snout so that it will hold onto the plate. And then push it down. But it's still going to be raised a little bit. Okay, 
The next thing we can do are to shape the ears. And the ears are going to go on to our polar bear underneath, just like that. So you might want to get a sense for where, how big and round you want the ears. You can draw on the plate each ear like that if you'd like, or put them together and cut the ears. So I'm just making the ears a little bit rounded. and a little bit rounded this way. So they are going to be a little rounded like that. And when I open them up like that, and I think I'm gonna switch them so that my ears are like this. To attach the ears, we're gonna use our glue dots. So bring over your glue dots and tear in between on the black line, one glue dot and two glue dots for the ears. This part is going to be the part that needs the glue. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my glue dot on the bottom there. Rub it on so that it transfers. And then I'm just gonna put my ear right underneath and make sure that it's on there. Nice. All right, and for the next ear, the same. I'm just going to put my glue dot on the bottom part of the ear, rub it in so that it adheres, and then I'm going to take it off so my glue dot is there, and then I'm just going to place my ear like that. For this polar bear, I made the eyes round. It turned out that they look about the size of a dime. So if you didn't want to make a circle, you can use dimes to trace your eyes. So I'm going to use my pencil to draw the eyes on and make sure that they're the shape, the size, and in the position that I would like them before I use my marker or my crayon. And I think that's pretty good. All right. And now we are going to put the pom-pom on. So just with your glue stick, get lots of glue on that pom-pom so that it stays right there on the snout. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and draw a smiley face coming down from the nose just a line and then smiling up and smiling up. And you can make your polar bear's mouth any way that you would like. So there's my polar bear's face. And next we are going to make the hands, the feet, and the tail. So hands, Again, I'm going to put them together like that, squish down, and cut. And you don't have to do this. You can cut one by one. You can draw your hand on this side and then cut it out. But I'm just going to do it like this. And just follow the scallops along for a paw. And how did it come out on this side? Pretty good. We just have a little bit extra over here. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut that like that. Nice. All right. So these are my polar bear's hands. Now I'm just going to draw little pads on the little scalloped edges here. and a big pad right here on the bottom. Now, 
we're going to need a little bit of room to attach our hands. So that is going to be the flap or the lip to put our glue dots on. All right. And here we go. One, two, three, four, and a little pad right here. Okay. And that's how we will attach with that little fold. We fold that back. All right, so there are our polar bear's hands. Next, we'll use two more for our polar bear's feet. And you can just go ahead and one by one follow these scallops if you want for feet. There's one foot. And I put them so that they curve this way. And here's the other foot. One. Look at those toes. Okay. And I just want a little space in between the toes. So we will draw right on the lines that are here. We're just going to draw a line for the toes, the space in between the toes. So just a little line. And you can use your marker or your crayon for this. Okay, those are our feet. To attach them, if you see on our example here, we're just going to fold the end edge down so away from you just make a little flap there like that okay so there's one and two like that all right last but not least our tail we're just going to make it into a little rounded part like our ears and we're going to glue a cotton ball on it. So just make this into a little rounded cup. This is going to be folded up. So that's going to be the part that adheres to the inside of the cup. If you see that in there. And our cotton ball, we can just kind of fluff it out. We don't have to use the whole thing. We can use whatever part of the cotton ball we want, whatever fits. And of course, our glue stick is going to help us keep our cotton on. So just really get some glue on there and put that glue on. And there's your fluffy tail. You all right, so there's your tail. And we have all of the parts of our polar bear ready to put on our paper cup. If you look at your cup, you have a seam, and I'm going to make that the back. So we can put our tail that we just made right on the back and underneath. So grab one glue dot there, put it right on that flap, rub it in and make sure it's on there when you pull off the paper. I'm going to put it right underneath and I'm going to fold my tail up so it's stuck on with that glue dot like that. And now I'd like to put on our face so it's right the other side, right? And probably about right there. You have a some white out because uh, there was some writing here so I put some white out and what you'll do is just position your polar bear's face right where you want it. Put lots of glue stick probably from the nose down in a line 
okay? Lots of glue stick. And right on your paper cup, just hold and press for a few seconds there just to make sure that that adheres. If you need to later reinforce with glue dots, you can do that. But there's our face and it's pretty well adhered. Now we'll take two glue dots each for our hands and our feet. And what we'll do is just put the glue on the little lip of our hands like that. Yikes, it didn't come off. All right, so we have to do it a little bit. There we go. All right, two glue dots. And I'm going to put this hand on this side. Oops. And I'm going to do it like right under the face. And like that, like kind of giving me a hug. So do the same for the other one. Put your glue dots on. And This polar bear is ready to hug. And last but not least, our feet. So you have the lip here. Let's put two glue dots on each. So that our feet definitely hold. Make sure the glue dot stays on the foot. One. and two. And for the second one as well. So I'm just going to use the lip of the cup. Put my feet on with the lip kind of holding them on too. So I'm pressing those glue dots on. There's one. And here's the other. And there's your polar bear. Last but not least, we are going to give our polar bear an iceberg. I wonder if you were wondering what this second plate was. This is the iceberg for our polar bear. And now we can take our flameless candle, turn it on, set our polar bear on top of it, and there is your polar bear nightlight on its little iceberg. And as always, remember to clean up. Nice job. Woohoo! Thanks so much for joining me, friends. I hope you had a great time making your polar bear nightlight. And I hope you'll enjoy it. Use it in your room or wherever you'd like a little light. Please send us pictures and please check our calendar for more DIY craft events. Have a great day. Bye-bye.